what is that orange, orange, orange object? Look how beautiful. Oh, whoa. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa just it. don't, don't, don't pop too up, much. Please. Uh, crouch down and look, because you'll block our cameras. Wow. Those behind me may move and stand up. Cause... Okay, that, you see that color? Yeah. That's not a plane. No, no. Oh, no. No, oh, that's that's a so ship. So let's thank them for coming. Wow, and it's above the sea Please level. Please turn off your night scope, Charles. Off. Someone's infrared or whatever. Yeah, that's Charles. Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, here they come. There are two. Whoever's right in the front, if you can kind of just stay low, because your low. head is right. You can get on your knees in front yeah. of you. Look at this, how gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm looking with the night scopes. There's no smoke, there's no trails. These are not flares. And. Oh my okay, goodness. Okay, let's welcome them here. Oh, they're, they're so beautiful. They, they were waiting for us to arrive. Whoa. Shock, please photograph. Yeah, All yeah. cameras should be filming. So connect to them in your consciousness and invite them here. These are the golden ones I talked about. See how gold? Yeah. Are, Cause the horizon is only seven to 10 miles spent on the conditions. So it's probably a couple miles. Everybody wow. see them? Yeah. yeah, they're so beautiful. Let's welcome their uh, beings on board to join us in meditation. That is such a beautiful color. So you'll never forget that color. Yeah, this is a major event. So we are grateful. So open your heart chakra and send them the beauty of humanity. And if you uh, can see what I'm doing, you connect with your palms out like this and your third eye and your heart making like a tetrahedron radiating our pureness and love towards them. The mystery of iniquity is working. Only he who now letteth will let till he be taken out of the way. God gives you some clues. He begins to show you some of the things that are happening and that are going to happen. And when they do happen, I do believe that they will accelerate in what happens. The Holy Spirit is holding back the gates of hell that are about to open on this earth. You are seeing the prelude, the preparation for this to happen. Folks, it's happening in your lifetime and you're gonna see more happen than you could ever imagine. He talks about the mystery of iniquity. It takes many forms and these forms are forms of confusion. Satan is a master at confusion. He never puts all of his eggs in one basket. Mark that down and that'll help you understand a great deal about how Satan operates. He never puts all of his eggs in one basket. He works from many different directions in many different ways. And the mystery of iniquity is at work right now, yet he is being held back. That are the people out there in the world right now who believe that you can get eternal life through technology. Think about that eternal life through technology. This technology is leading somewhere and people are being prepared for something that's going to come from it. Transpermia, what's that? Transpermia is the idea that we are here because they are there. They brought seed down to this earth and when they brought that seed to this earth, it gave birth to mankind. Who are the they? They say some kind of something out here, some kind of a, a life form, civilization or whatever that brought it down to earth. Let me tell you something. That's a bunch of garbage. That's demonic. 
This earth is the source and the beginning of mankind. This earth, as far as the Bible teaches me, this earth is the only place in all of this stuff out here that has any life on it. But they're teaching this to people and the UFOs are definitely part of this transpermia doctrine. Unidentified flying objects have become now, it's, it's in the showcase. They're talking about the government now has admitted that they have, they have all of this evidence of UFOs. And then we get CRISPR-Cas9. CRISPR-Cas9 is literally gene editing. When DNA was discovered, it was only just a few decades until they got into the idea that they could literally go into the go in and edit a gene. What makes a gene? DNA. What does genes make? They make they, they, that's the building block of, of the physical body. And now my dear friend, you know what they want to do? They want to take CRISPR Cas9 and gene editing and they're mixing it with animals. Now we have human and animal in the laboratory of gene editing. Why that? Well, I'll tell you why that. They may have their motive, but God has his. They're gonna, they're gonna blur the lines between human beings and between animals. Listen to what Daniel says. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another even as iron is not mixed with clay. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and shall stand forever. On one hand, I get excited because they're messing with fire. They're playing with Satan. They're into something that they have no idea what's going to happen to them. But on the other hand, God said, when it gets like that, get ready for the Lord's going to come and bring a kingdom with him. So therefore, a distinction is being blurred between man and animal. What is a man? According to Hebrews chapter number two, what is man that thou art mindful of him? The only creature said to be in the image of God is a man. That's what we are in the image of God. That's a big deal. And the only creature that is said to have fellowship with God, fellowship with him, walk with him, talk with him, listen to him. In the cool of the day, the Almighty would show up and speak to this creature that was the highest of his creation. It was the last one to be made. It was the one that could, to be made that could respond to him like nothing else could. And that's what he's looking for now. Do you want to go to heaven? Do you want to be with God throughout eternity? Make your choice. Do you want to be sent off into oblivion, off into damnation forever? Then you have to make a choice. God Almighty, my dear friend, is life. It's life around him. His word is life. His spirit is life. His being is life. Everything he is is life. And anything that is you depart from him, the further you get from him, the deader it becomes. We need his life in this house today. Not my life, his life. Amen. The only creature said to have fellowship with God, to hear the voice of God. This is why Satan hates you. When God took that dirt and formed a body and breathed into that body the breath of life and he became a living soul, Satan was standing there just like that. Isaiah chapter number 14 says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Satan? Satan, son of the morning, Satan. He had a throne. He was a ruler over a kingdom. And this man was made from the dust of the ground and he stood there and he looked at him. God didn't have to tell him what he was going to do. He didn't have to tell anybody what he was going to do. He just appeared that day and made the man and raised the man up. And the man, the, th the first thing the man ever saw was the face of God. Amen. And there stood Satan. He despised him because he knew that he had made a creature that had the same power and authority and possibilities that Satan could ever have because it came from God. God made him a king over this earth. He gave him dominion over everything there is. He set Adam upon a throne. And when he did that, Satan immediately went after him to destroy him. And ever since then, it's been the work of Satan to try to figure out how am I going to destroy this man? Don't fear him that can kill the body, the Lord said. 
But he said, fear him that can destroy both body and soul in hell. Amen. Satan despises you, dear friend. He'll use you. He'll abuse you. He'll deceive you. He'll lie to you. But he is your enemy. Amen. 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 God help us with these poor, stupid, ignorant people out here that say, hail Satan, that fall before this vile creature and worship him. No, my dear friend, I bow the knee to just one. I bow my knee to him, and that is my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Satan's gradual downfall started when the Bible says in Ezekiel 28, he was cast out of the third heaven. Then in the book of Luke chapter number 10, the Lord said, I saw Satan as lightning fall to the earth. Ephesians 2, 2, he loses his authority in the first heaven. What did he do? When Christ went to the cross, he made a show of him openly. Amen. Notice his gradual downfall, his gradual destruction. Then in Revelation chapter number 20, he's cast into the bottomless pit. And there for a thousand years, he's in that pit and he can't come out of it. And then finally in Revelation chapter number 20 and verse number 10, he's cast into the lake of fire and he knows it. He knows what that Bible says. You think he doesn't hate you? So how will he destroy man, preacher? What's he going to do to destroy you? How's he going to destroy man? Here's how he's going to destroy. He's going to destroy the image of God in you. That's how he does it. He turns you into something that is not a man made in the image of God. Have you noticed how that the animals today are exalted and man is diminished? Has, has that, have you noticed that? You ever noticed the animals now? You ever noticed? Yeah, have you noticed that they're not just put on the same level as a man? They're raised above a man, and the men are dehumanized. Have you noticed the rise of euthanasia among people, among men and women? If you don't know the stats, tune in to Canada, and you'll be surprised at how many are choosing to die. And we've got doctors now in Canada that are talking about, and they feel like they have, that they have accomplished something of all the people that they have helped put to death and so many different reasons that they want to die. Euthanasia, it doesn't upset people anymore. Do you know why? Because there's probably not one out of 50 of these people walking the streets out here that have a clue what the image of God means and that you're made in the image of God. They don't think there's any real difference between you and the dog or the cat or whatever it is because the dog's alive, you're alive. What's the difference? They don't understand anything about the nature of a man, body, soul, and spirit. Jim, have you, have you noticed you don't know which way to look, what to believe, who to believe? Have you noticed that? That's Satan. He's a master at it. Here's what most people do when they get so confused. Well, forget this. Too much for me. But you better stay in there because you're going to have to make choices and decisions. Amen. Now, you live in 2023. We have a new year coming upon us, and we see things that are happening about us. Unless you're living in a cave somewhere, you should be aware that things are changing, and they are changing dramatically. Did you know that in the last 20 years, last 20 years, there has been more change in this country than in the preceding almost 400 years before that? So it's accelerating, bottom line. It's moving faster. We don't know what 23 holds or 24 or 25 and the rest of them, we have no idea. But whatever's happening, apparently, if this trend continues, it will continue to accelerate in what is happening. A bull has been raised up in, in, uh, in, uh, in New York City, a huge bull, and they, are, and they are moving this thing about in different places. And in, even in England, not too long ago, they were falling down before the bull and worshiping it. So what we have now is coming out my friend, uh, this uh, demonic powers that you're going to be dealing with have been definitely in your face and you're going to see more in your face. Now I want you to think about it folks, 63 million little children that could be alive today have been killed and it's as if it's nothing. It's as if it doesn't mean a thing to this jaded generation. 
But anyway, this is what's happening. There is a spirit that dominates in America today in 2023. You should be aware, you should be aware of that. There is definitely a spirit coming down upon the people. When you receive the spirit, and the spirit always comes first. Once you receive the spirit, then you receive the person. And America is receiving the spirit. And how do you do that? You receive the lie, then the spirit, then the purpose, person. And that's what's happening. Did you know that witchcraft, witchcraft in America is growing by leaps and bounds? Do you realize that? Do you realize how many of these mainline Protestant denominations are drying up and closing their doors because they just have, don't have any people anymore? Well, it's probably for most of them, that's a good thing. Amen. Amen because they, they have no power. They don't preach the blood. They don't preach the cross. They don't preach salvation. They don't preach repentance. They don't preach the new birth. They don't preach getting right with God. It's all about social reform. But witchcraft is growing by leaps and bounds, not only witchcraft, which is paganism. It's called the craft witchcraft. If you want to know somewhat of what's happening with it, I suppose it's still moving afoot in Asheville, North Carolina. They gather there in the parks and they have what's called drumming. And how many's ever seen this? Understand what I'm talking about this morning, drumming. Do, to do a Google search on it and you'll pull it up. And what they're doing is conjuring up spirits. The whole point is that you reach into the dark world and you call these spirits forth. Why do you do that? Because there's power in these spirits. Paganism with its gods, Celtic gods, Greek deities, Egyptian deities, Norse deities, and on it goes. The Bible talks about the queen of heaven. The king of all the gods is Zeus. You have Jupiter and Diana of the Ephesians that the apostle Paul dealt with and he had no fear. You should have no fear. I don't care how many millions and thousands of millions of gods there are. There's one Holy Ghost and they will flee in terror when the presence of the Holy Ghost makes himself known. Amen. In Romans chapter 8 and verse 38, for I'm persuaded neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities, powers nor things present nor things to come. Romans 8, 38 is referring to principalities. Principalities, the translation, the Greek word RK. RK means of the first order, the beginning, the highest of the order, the highest of the ruler. Look at Ephesians 3, 10. To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. Ephesians 6, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And on he continues to go. You see, my dear friend, there's a real war going on. There is, there's a real war going on. And I'm afraid there's an awful lot of people that are ignoring it. They're trying, they're trying to say to themselves, well, if I just don't have anything to do with this, I can go ahead and live out my life the way I always have, and everything's going to be just fine and hunky-dory, and on and on we go. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not going to escape it. The world is changing around you, and these spiritual forces are coming down upon you. And these things are going to happen whether you believe it or not, whether you accept it or not, whether you want any part with it or not. It's going to make one bit of difference whatsoever. Things are changing, and there's a trend, and there's a pattern to it. And that's what I want to talk about this morning, folks. The gods. The gods. Little G. G-O-D-S. When they come face to face with that almighty, absolute, eternal being, Jehovah God. The God that I serve this morning is absolute and eternal. And everything that thinks it is a God will one day bow its knee to him, to his name and to his power and to his glory. And the Lord Jesus Christ will be exalted to the glory of God the Father. That he is the Messiah, the Son of God, the Blessed One, the desire of all the nations. The Lord Jesus Christ is everything, and everything that exists can only exist because of him. The Bible said in Revelation 13 that he causeth all, small and great, that could neither buy nor sell. This is what's coming. Because, folks, they've already taken your freedom of speech. Now, when they take your money away from you, some folks will wake up, right? The Great Reset, Very Real and Grave Threat to Democracy. This is written by Con Carroll, October 20, 2022. So it's pretty current. Not every global conspiracy of wealthy elites bent on world domination has its own publicly available website. 
The Great Reset proposed by members of the World Economic Forum is an exception, complete with a published list of co-conspirators, including Amazon, Google, Huawei Technologies, Saudi Aramco, and Volkswagen. The Great Reset launched in June, launched in June 2020 with a mission statement reads as follows. Now listen to this statement. Listen to what they're saying. They're not hiding anything anymore. Listen to this. The cold crisis and the political, economic, and social disruptions it has caused is fundamentally changing the traditional context for decision-making. As we enter a unique window of opportunity to shape the recovery, this initiative will offer insights to help inform all those determining the future state of global relations, the direction of national economies, the priorities of societies, the nature of business models, and the management of a global commons. Drawing from the vision and vast expert expertise of the leaders engaged across the forum's communities, the Great Reset Initiative has, set a, has a set of dimensions to build a new social contract that honors the dignity of every human being. Now it makes you wonder, where did that really come from? Are you listening? You know what they just said? They said, we're going to make a new world order and we're going to affect every part of your life. And it's coming and it's going to get here sooner than you think. One man said the other day, he said, look for it by the year 2025. Now, that's, how long is that? Two years. What are we doing? One world government marks the coming of the Lord Jesus. What are you afraid of, preacher? The only thing I fear is God. I look for his coming. So many churches out here right now, they're saying, man alive, we've lost half our congregation. All right, we had to shut down. Well, people just quit coming to the church. How many of you heard that? Amen. It's everywhere. Well, let me tell you something. The same reason that they did not come back to church will be the reason they take the mark of the beast. Amen. I'm not saying all of them are lost. Not at all. But I'm telling you that fear is a weapon of Satan. He'll drive you insane with fear. Amen. I would say to you people who do not come back to church, get down in a closet somewhere and find out what you really believe and who you really are. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Remember Satan's a cherub. Ezekiel chapter 28, he said, Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. He's the cherub. What's a cherubim? A cherubim is a special creature, a spirit creature that God created to be close to the throne of God. Truth is, in the Holy of Holies, he stood, they stood right over the top of the very Ark of the Covenant, the most holy place. They had, they had close access to things like this. Ezekiel 28 talks about how that he was the anointed cherub that covereth. It's quite a thing to think about. It's quite, it, it really is because it tells you that Satan was not just an angel, as some people say. No, 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 he's far above that. Far above it with power and authority. The fact of the matter is, there are those who believe, and I'm one of them, that it's Almighty God. It gets no higher. And then the archangel, Michael, who's the only one mentioned in the Bible, but this cherub that covereth may very well stand with the same power and authority as that archangel. Amen, because they lock horns in the Bible. And it's something to think about. So the Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter number 2, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. I don't know what the delusion is. If I did, it wouldn't be a delusion, would it? It's a deception. What is the delusion? I don't know. But I know this, once you reject the truth, you're ready for the lie. Amen. What's the truth? The truth's a person. Amen. The truth is not a message. Amen. Right. A message can be anything. A message can be changed. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. Once you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, you receive the truth. It's a person. You see, receive the truth of salvation. <laughs> the truth of redemption. You've received the truth of eternity. You received the truth of who you are. If you reject the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll believe a lie. Churches in America, folks, they're finished. 
They're dead. If God gave you a revival, would you do anything with it? What would you do with it? Well, I want to feel good. That's no revival. But that's what most revivals are. Make you feel good. You'll have two or three days to feel good. Bring in some professional uh, entertainers, musicians. I feel good. We've had revival. That's not a revival. What's a revival? A revival is to come back to the basics, to come back to where you started from, is to rise up inside your soul who you are and what you believe. It's a change again. It's akin to being born again. That's what a revival is. It changes your life. I don't want to believe a lie. I don't want to be deceived. I'm going to cling to the Lord Jesus Christ with all of my soul, with all of my heart, and all of my spirit today. There's nowhere else to go. Amen. He is it. He's everything. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus.